Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Theory. Wait, no, no, not that Game Theory. That Game Theory. That's John von Neumann, founder of Game Theory. You know, the study of mathematical models of conflict and cooperation between intelligent rational decision makers? Yeah, that Game Theory. It's usually used for <laughs> economics and psychology, but its name is literally Game Theory. So why not apply it to an actual game? Let's start out by looking at the most classic example of game theory, the prisoner's dilemma. But instead of boring you with the actual prisoner's dilemma, let me give you a bit more, shall I say, relevant example. Let's suppose that Vian and Squaggies were playing some league matches together, and Squags made his inkling look the exact same as Vian's. During the match, one of them squid bagged an enemy inkling right after splatting them. Unfortunately for them, that inkling happened to be Reggie, the CEO of Nintendo North America. Now Reggie wasn't too happy about being squid bagged, and wanted to punish the squid that had such bad sportsmanship. However, since the sack of potatoes that are the Splatoon 2 servers couldn't tell him who the dirty squid bagger was, Reggie had to find out the old-fashioned way. He sent none other than Special Inquisitor Moore GG Gabriel Gaming, founder of Woomies United Today. Squags and Vian are taken into custody and put in two separate rooms with no way to communicate with each other. GG will go into each interrogation room and ask them to either admit or deny guilt. He would also let them know what the different outcomes would be depending on what they said. Now before we look at their choices and outcomes, I need to remind you that game theory is all about intelligent, rational decision makers. Which means that they will choose the option that will benefit themselves the most. In real life, Vian and Squags could both be super honest people. But in game theory, what they care about the most is their personal well-being. So now let's look at their choices and outcomes. Since both have two choices, it will look like a 2x2 two two grid. We can start with the situation where both of them confess to be guilty. While it's obvious that only one of them squid bagged, since both admitted to being guilty, Reggie can ban both of them from using Nintendo services for the next two years. If one of them admits to being guilty and the other one denies it, then it's pretty obvious who the real squid bagger was. And they'll get the hammer. And by the hammer, I mean being banned from Nintendo for four years. Finally, both can deny being guilty, in which case both will get the boot for three years. So now that they both know what their possible actions and consequences are, what would most likely happen? From a game theory perspective. Well, to figure out who will say what, you have to remember that their goal is to get away with the lowest punishment rather than be an honest human being. Let's start with Squaggy's side and assume that Vian will be a sweetheart and say, Okay, fine, you got me. I cracked, alright? I did it. I squid bag Reggie. First the demonetization on YouTube, then the friend limits. Man. Now Swags can choose to confess or deny. If he confesses, he will be in trouble for two years. But if he denies, he gets away for free. So if Squags thinks Vian will confess, Squags is best off denying. What if Vian instead says, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. You got the wrong guy. Me? Squidbag? Daddy Reggie? No, 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 no. I'm a what member. I know that there's a time and a place for squidbagging, and that wasn't it. And besides, he's a respected Nintendo employee. I would never do such a thing. Well, Squags still has the same two options, confess or deny. Since in this situation Squags will be in trouble either way, he might as well be in trouble for less time. This means that Squags should choose to deny as well. If we look at both of these situations together, regardless of what Vian says, Squags will be better off denying guilt. So WWVD, what would Vian do? Well, if Squags says, Okay man, it was me. I actually did it. I did it. So this way I could feel superior. Vian is best off denying guilt so he can get away free. And if Squags denies guilt, which we now know is what he'll most likely do, well, Vian should also deny guilt. And again, in both situations, Vian is better off denying guilt too. 
By now, you probably know what Special Inquisitor Gigi will hear from both of them. I'm telling you, man, it wasn't me. Why the heck would I squid bag? That's totally against my normal life. So I'll tell you that it was Mr. Tastic over here. He totally whoa, whoa, whoa. did it because- Hold on. You got the wrong guy. Me? Squid bag? Daddy? Reggie? No, 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 no. They're both going to be in purgatory. Um, I mean, banned from Nintendo for three years. Cool story, Teach. What's this gotta do with winning games? Well, the same logic can be applied to Splatoon, especially when it comes to deciding which path to take. In some stages, that might be as simple as choosing to go right or left. Should've gone left. And in others, it's a bit more complicated. This video is just an intro to game theory, and I hope the way of thinking about what each player chooses made sense. I plan on making more for each stage and mode, and hopefully that'll help you win some more battles. So please go to the comment section and let me know which stage and mode you'd like to see first. Also, a special thanks to Vientastic and Squaggies for providing me some audio files to work with. Really appreciate both of them helping out. Check them out if you haven't already. Although let's be honest, you probably found me because of Vien. So thanks Vien. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, 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 hello.